have been lit in poor weather on the highest peaks of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. The flames will go on to tour all four capital cities before heading to the Olympic Stadium. James Pearce reports from Snowdon. Four flames lit on the highest peaks of the four nations that make up the United Kingdom. Next week they'll be merged to form London's Paralympic flame. At Snowdon, Lord Coe was leading by example, choosing a three-hour climb rather than a leisurely train ride to the top. He might have wondered if it made the right decision as the clouds began to roll in. But eventually, he and his team of scouts made it to the top. A well-earned warm cup of tea, while Wells's Paralympic torch was lit from the flame. Then just a few dozen more steps to Snowdon's summit. The contrast could hardly be greater with the sunshine of ancient Olympia to the lighting of the Olympic flame back in May. But the symbolism is similar, and the organisers hope the end result will be the same. One of the greatest games ever staged. <laughs> Lord Coe, could you take a step forward, please? Just one, just one tiny step. A request that had to be carefully considered. But London 2012's chairman is understandably confident after the success of the Olympics. We get the Paralympics in this country. You know, a lot of our competitors are household names. And this is just a great way of really starting the, the flame on its journey to the Paralympic Stadium. The weather was little better at the other locations around the UK. This was the lighting at the top of Ben Nevis in Scotland. In Northern Ireland, there were numerous failed attempts before eventual success. And in England, they had to use a tarpaulin for shelter. It was pretty difficult. It did take a little longer than expected. Uh, it was it start hailing at one point and was, it was very windy, but with a bit of uh, tender love and care, we managed to get the flame lit. Meanwhile, thousands of Paralympians continue to arrive in London. More than three quarters of those competing have now checked into the athletes' village. James Pierce, BBC News, Snowdon. Time for the weather now with.